What is AutoCAD? Obviously, you have some sort of a concept as to what AutoCAD is or can do or else you wouldn't be here right now. There are many things that it is and many things that it is not. AutoCAD has been around since Autodesk first released it in 1982. Back then, it merely drew lines and added single line text. Today, AutoCAD is a design tool, a drawing tool, a modeling tool, and a database manager. The data it manages can be in many different forms. It can be raw data, points, lines, images, and more. The things that AutoCAD designs, draws, and models are limitless. This is AutoCAD for Mac 2014. It added a few new features to AutoCAD for Mac's abilities. AutoCAD has many advantages to drawing things by hand. Many of the advantages it gives you are due to the nature of digital design and to using computers. The data in the drawing files is more easily edited and repeated than it is drawing by hand on the board. AutoCAD can help you to generate data or line work that we would always have to input by hand. It also links data from multiple sources and can share its data with others. These are the reasons we use CAD. It allows us to do more because we have to do less. After all, CAD is an acronym for Computer Aided Design. So what can we make with AutoCAD? We can do anything that needs to be constructed, modified, developed, or illustrated. It's not just for engineers or architects, though these groups would probably be the most common users of AutoCAD. But textile designers use it, surveyors use it, and even movie makers. There are too many uses for AutoCAD for us to list. That's why it is probably the industry standard throughout the world. Now, there are two ways that you can look at the files that are created in AutoCAD. One is to look at them as drawings. The other way is to look at them as data. Both cases are true. Both have their place. Most files we'll look at in this tutorial will be drawing files, but we will also look at some data files. Don't assume that data is just a list of names or numbers. Anything needed for a design purpose in this case is data. The lines we create in our drawings is data. The points that we insert and define are data. Images that we attach, and especially like aerial photographs, are all data used in our design process. Data can be gotten from many different sources, and it's important to know what it is and how you need to use it. These cases will vary from project to project and industry to industry. In the case of an architect, some of the data required will be site data or lot information. An architect will also need to know the local building codes and regulations. This is data. Other data might include the existing conditions of the job site, building requirements from the client, and so on. An architect will take this data and insert it into AutoCAD in many different ways. Most of that will be via drafting techniques. Now that the data has been placed into CAD, the architect needs to create a drawing file. A drawing file will have title block information, notes, instructions, as well as the line work necessary to display the model that was designed in the data file. Sometimes these two files will be combined into one file, and in the case for what we're going to do through this training video, that is what will happen. Other times they will be kept separate. It will depend on the scope and needs of the project. AutoCAD allows you to do that. In a hand or board drawing, the drawing is the data file. They're not kept separate. This is one of the many advantages to using AutoCAD as opposed to manual drawings. Now, AutoCAD has come a long way from its initial creation back in the early 80s, and what was once just a 2D drafting aid is now a full-fledged 3D modeling design tool. Not everyone has a need for full-out 3D, and that's why they might use something like AutoCAD LT instead, but we have to start somewhere. So once you've mastered all of the 2D aspects of AutoCAD, you will be ready to progress into a much larger and more realistic world.